Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to graph a system of linear inequalities on a TI graphing calculator. Uh, the problem that I'm going to be graphing, the system of linear inequalities that I'm going to be graphing, is one from your textbook, section 7.8, page 482, problem number 3. Here I've typed in the system of linear inequalities that I'm going to be graphing. The first inequality in the system is y is less than 1 3rd x plus 4. The second inequality in the system is y is greater than or equal to 1 3rd x minus 3. Before we get to graphing, I want to point out something, and this is a key thing uh, that you need to know when you're graphing inequalities using a TI graphing calculator. Note the form of the inequalities. They're in what I probably mathematically incorrect, but hopefully descriptively uh, so that it helps you describe as inequality slope intersect form. So they're in the form y is less than mx plus b or y is greater than mx plus b. Note y is all by itself on the left hand side of the inequality and all of the other terms are on the right hand side of each of these inequalities. Note also that the coefficient of y on the left hand side is 1 in both of these inequalities. That is what I call inequality slope intercept form. I have to have the inequalities in this form uh, before I enter them into the TI graphing calculator and graph them. So they were provide, given to me in this form, so uh, no algebraic manipulation is needed. Yay! Now I'm ready to come on over here to the graphing calculator. First step, I want to make sure my graphing window is centered, that it's the origin of the xy axes. Uh, of my coordinate system is going to be smack dab in the middle of my uh, graphing window. So I hit the zoom button, middle button, top row, option 6, Z standard. That's going to set the window so it's nice and centered like this. Notice the origin smack dab in the middle as I mentioned, that's what I want. The x direction and the positive, x axis in the positive direction, x axis in the negative direction both extend out to units. The y axis in the positive y direction and in the negative y direction extend out 10 units. I've got a nice centered graphing window. I am ready to enter some inequalities. I do that over here in the y equals. Not only do I enter equations in this window, I can enter inequalities and I'm going to show you how to do that. This first y row, I'm going to enter the first inequality. The first step I'm going to do is I'm going to enter what's on the right hand side of this first inequality of my system. I'm going to enter that here onto this line. So I'm going to enter 1 third, 1 divided by 3 is another name for 1 third, x plus 4 plus now I need to change this right now as an equation. To change it to an inequality, I need to move the flashing cursor over here to the far left space in the first line. To do that, I just hit the left arrow. Now I know when it's where I want it to be when this line starts flashing. When that starts flashing, then I can choose the output of how this is plotted. Uh, if I change nothing, it'll be plotted as a skinny straight line. To toggle through my plotting options, I hit the Enter key as the cursor flashes. After one hit, it turns into a thick line. I don't want that. I want to graph an inequality. So I hit it another time. Now it becomes this flashing triangle in the upper right hand corner. That's the greater than uh, inequality area that gets plot. plotted. Here I'm looking for y is less than. So this greater than isn't going to work. I'm going to see what my next option is. Click it one more time, it brings up this triangle flashing in the lower corner of the cursor window, and that is the less than symbol. So here on this top row, I have y is less than 1 third x plus 4. That's the first inequality in my system. Now I'm going to cursor down to the second line, and I'm going to enter this inequality there. y is greater than or equal to 1 third x minus 3. First I'm going to enter the right hand side of this second inequality here on the set in the second line of my graphing window. So I'm going to enter 1 third, open parentheses 1 divided by 3, close parentheses, x Oops, okay, I need to go back. I didn't hit 3. 3, close parentheses, x, 
actually I didn't close parentheses, here we go, close parentheses, x minus 3. So that's this, uh, that would be the equation. Now I need to change this into an inequality. So again, I cursor over, I move the cursor over to the far left uh, space. I know I'm there when it starts flashing. And I'm going to hit the enter button until I get the greater than symbol. So I hit it twice, and then I get this flashing triangle in the upper right-hand part of the cursor area. That means greater than. Note also that there's a solid a black rectangle around both equals. That means that both what both of the, ex the expression in line 1 and in line y2 will be plotted. Now I'm ready to graph these. I graph them by hitting the graph key, which is in the upper right-hand corner top row. Now that's the first inequality getting graphed, and here comes the second inequality getting graphed. Let me, let's talk about what you just saw. When the first inequality was graphed, it was y is less than 1 3rd x plus 4. So 1 3rd x plus 4, that boundary is this line. Everything less than that is this region that's shaded in with the vertical lines. That's that inequality. Then the second inequality got plotted. The boundary line is y is equal to 1 3rd x minus 3. So that line is actually this lower line here. And the area that's greater than it is represented by these horizontal lines above that line. Now, notice the area in between the two boundaries. It has vertical lines and horizontal lines. That is the solution area to this inequality. It's the area that the two inequalities have in common. That's the solution to this system of linear inequalities. Now, which boundary is part, if any, either of the boundaries is part of that solution? Notice the first inequality, it's just a less than. We call that a strict inequality. That means that this boundary, y equals 1 3rd x plus 4, it is not part of the solution. Uh, since it's a strict inequality, points on the boundary are not included. Contrast that with the second inequality, y is greater than or equal to 1 3rd x minus 3. Since it has the equals, that implies that points along this boundary are part of the solution area. And so we will they are included in our solution. So I've shown you in this video how to uh, enter a system of inequalities into a graphing calculator. And then I've showed you how to move the cursor over to adjust the display to for less than and for greater than, uh, how to make sure both inequalities are turned on and will plot, and then how to graph them using the graph screen. Uh, if you have any questions about this, post your questions on the Blackboard Discussion Board. And thanks for watching. Bye.